This is my weigh-in for the week. I lost 1.6 pounds. This is my steps for the week. This is the creamy salmon meal. This is the creamy chicken and cauliflower rice. This is the barbecue chicken meal. Burger casserole. Lemon poppy seed loaf. The broccoli chicken pasta at the beginning before it got into the oven. And then this is afterwards, after everything was mixed together. Hi, welcome to Chris's journey to lose 100 pounds. Okay, so last week I lost 1.6 pounds. Um, so that was this past week. Sorry, I am late updating. Um, yeah, just family stuff. Um, but yeah, so last week I had the salmon meal, which was delicious. I'm so glad that I doubled the, um, the like creamy mixture. It was so much better, but I did notice it was a lot more than I thought it was going to be. So I must have overcooked it the first time I made it. Um, so comment down below if you think that there was plenty enough sauce just by the recipe itself. Um, and let me know. Let's see. Then it was the chicken cauliflower rice meal. I really enjoyed this. This was delicious. Um, and then Tuesday we had leftovers. And then Wednesday was the burger casserole. Y'all, I don't think I'll ever try to make another burger casserole. Um, dish that isn't this one because this one is my favorite and I was trying out a different recipe from um, low carb love and I just cannot get those radishes to last long so but I do love this burger ca burger casserole dish it's just my favorite now I did change a couple things this time I added uh, an extra egg just because I didn't want to just keep one egg in my fridge so I was like I'll oh, just add it and then I also added one extra pickle and I put some shredded spring mix in there. I just tore it up and threw it in there. And I added a little extra cheese on top. So, and it was delicious. I love this recipe. If you are craving pickles at any point, make this recipe. It is delicious. Um, and then I had the burger or the barbecue chicken casserole. This was amazing. I used the uh, rotisserie. Oh, so I planned on using the rotisserie chicken. Um, but I actually used the normal chicken breast and cut it up. And I really do think that the shredded chicken would have tasted better um, because it's shredded and I just think it would have tasted better. But it was still an, an excellent recipe. Highly recommend it. Um, and if you use the coleslaw in the bags, it would only needed one bag. And this actually you want to make in like a big casserole dish is what I ended up doing. I'm trying to think if I altered anything that why I needed. Because I think they originally used like a smaller one. I don't know, I didn't write it down. I'm sorry if I did alter something. Um, Thursday, I just had leftovers. Friday was leftovers. Saturday was the keto lemon loaf. I really enjoy this recipe, but be careful with the icing. I absolutely hated it the first time I made it with the icing. It's just way too sugary of icing. So this time I'm trying like a fourth cup of keto sugar and two tablespoons of lemon juice. So far it looked more like a really thin glaze. Um, I probably could have just done one tablespoon of lemon juice. But I was just like, eh, I like mine a little thinner instead of thicker. But that's just personal preference. I also added one tablespoon of poppy seeds because I was just filling it. I was like, I really want poppy seeds, but I have lemon loaf. And then so I just looked up how to add poppy seeds. So um, it's really good. 
And then keto spaghetti, which we've made before. I love keto spaghetti. And then Sunday is leftovers. Okay, so for next week, we actually have a few new recipes. That is actually not a bug up there, I promise. I had to take my pictures down because I have a kid that likes to stand on everything and try to pull stuff down sometimes. Terrible shoes, man. So, um, it's just hangers for pictures that were supposed to be there and be beautiful at one point. But I didn't want you thinking like a spider was coming to attack me. So, I figured I would, you know, tell you what's up. So, for next week, the meals, I plan on having leftovers for Monday. And then Tuesday is the uh, pizza calzone. So I don't know that I'll actually make it into, uh, into a calzone. I think I'll probably make it more into a pizza. Um, but this is a different way to make a pizza. So it doesn't use cheese in the, um, in the dough like a fathead dough would. It uses yogurt and then um, just uh, one cup of flour. So the plan is this week that I'm going to make one almond and then I'm going to make one coconut for my uh, family and we'll see how it goes. Um, that way I can also tell you in case anybody else has an almond allergy um, how to make both. But I don't know if I'll actually get around to making both. We'll see. And then um, I eat a lot of lemon loaf throughout the week because nobody else can have it with me. So, and then Wednesday is the pizza leftovers and uh, taco soup. Um, so this taco soup I haven't made before, so that'll be something new. Thursday is leftovers, Friday is leftovers, Saturday is the broccoli chicken pasta. Um, so I actually already kind of made this for this week, um, just because there was a deal on the rotisserie chicken. Um, and it is really good. I was actually a little nervous. I was like, I don't know if this has enough seasoning and like, I was kind of expecting like an Alfredo sauce or something. So I was like, I don't know about this, but it was really good. I had it for the first time today and I definitely approve. So I made this into a keto meal because it was not originally keto. And so we're using, um, spaghetti squash instead of the normal squash. Um, and I tell you how to do it. I also post a video here um, Just because I know people like videos and it's nice to give the original person some credit even though I tweaked it to make it keto um, Also with this I So they didn't give a lot of description So I added my own description of what I did when there wasn't a ton of detail and I use a whole onion because I just love onion and I really don't see the sense of using a half onion most of the time. And I don't regret it. Like I said, I tried it today. It was fantastic. Um, and the frozen vegetables. So I just use frozen vegetables. It's so much easier because I don't have to worry about going bad. So um, I used one broccoli bag and then I couldn't get another broccoli bag. So I used a broccoli carrot bag. Um... Now, that's perfectly fine for me with keto, but some people with keto, they like try to stay away from carrots and things, um, depending on like how much uh, carbs they're allowed, like what's within their window or whatever. It's perfectly fine with me. I don't track that stuff and I've never had an issue, so take it as you will. But yeah, it was like a cauliflower broccoli uh, carrot bag that I used. And I made the vegetables first in the microwave and then I added them to the pan just because I hate like really hard broccoli and just pisses me off so and then they mentioned like a random cheese like feta and then she used a random cheese we're just gonna use cream cheese we're gonna keep it kind of like really authentic keto here so yeah and I think this was amazing it turned out great definitely recommend it and then the next meal for that day is the blueberry breakfast loaf. Um, so I'm really looking forward to this. I've been wanting like a blueberry muffin, but I really like the loaf form instead because it's able, it's easier to split up. And even with my like lemon loaf, I actually split it up to be more like four mils instead of six mils, just cause I didn't feel like um, 
like adding in the nuts. Now, I don't know if I'll keep that up all week. We'll see. Um, Cause I might feel like wanting nuts one day or something. But that's something I did differently. And I think with a lot of my loaf mills, I'm gonna try to do that now instead of constantly trying to like keep up with, uh, with adding nuts. I mean, adding nuts is wonderful, but you can easily overdo it um, with the nuts. And I do notice that sometimes I feel like my weight stagnates because I'm getting too many calories in the nuts. So just kind of keep an eye on that for yourself. And I, usually if I need to substitute anything in, it's always either nuts or almond milk or some veggies here and there. Um, so, and then Sunday is just leftovers again. I hope you all lost weight. Um, thank you, like and subscribe.